Okay, so the next example is with vector operations. I think we skipped two. This is now three. Okay, so let's go ahead and sketch vector u. I'm going to go ahead and put it in standard position. And we're going to sketch vector v. So vector u is over 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the x direction, and up 1, 2, 3. So terminal point at 5, 3. Okay, this is vector u. Uh, vector v green, is negative 1, 2, 3, 4 in the x direction, and none in the y direction, so this is vector v. Okay. So notice vector v goes um, to the left. So uh, how would we graph um, negative v? v? Negative v would be like the opposite. So the opposite of v would be to the, so let's multiply each component. Negative 4 comma 0 times a negative gives me 4 comma 0. So we're going to move to the completely opposite direction. Okay, so that would be vector negative v. Um, so for addition, we would, we can add vectors by, um, I call it tail to tail method. So we're going to graph a uh, vector u. So one, two, this color. One, two, three, four, five, up one, two, three. For vector u. Okay. And when we add vector v, we just start it from the end of the first vector and then just graph the new the new uh, vector v from there. So from five, three, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four to the left. So negative 4. So this is vector u and v. Together, so from the beginning to the end, this is vector u plus v. Um, algebraically, we can do this. Vector u plus vector v is equal to the u component. Uh, or the first component of u plus this first component of v. Oops. So that will make up the x direction. And then this the y component of u plus the y component of v. Okay. So let's go ahead and plug those in. We get u plus v is equal to, um, I started with 5. And then I'm going to add negative 4 for the, and then we're going to do, uh, we started with 3, and then we didn't move any vertically. So we end up with 1, 3. These should be the components of my new v plus u vector. Let's see. 1, 3. Perfect. All right. Next, let's do u minus v. So u minus v is equal to u1 minus v1 and then the y component is u2 minus v2. Oh I forgot. Um, if we go back up to our vectors here the x component is u1 and the y component is u2. This is v1, v2. Okay. So when I graph my vectors, I'm going to have vector u is equal to 5, comma 3, and v, just so we can rewrite it, is negative 4, comma 0. Again, this is v1, v2, u1, u2. Okay, so we're going to start with u again because it's first in line okay so one two three four five one two three okay so that is u 
and we're going to subtract v, so or add negative v. So v would have gone to the left, except we're subtracting, so it's going to go the opposite direction. So we're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is vector u and vector v. So u minus v would be from the start to the finish, okay? And I can see that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units in the x, and 1, 2, 3 units in the y. So we're going to hope over here that we get 9, 3, okay? So u minus v is equal to 5 minus negative 4 and 3 minus 0. We get 9 comma 3. Woohoo! Matchy matchy. And this is again is a component form. Of a vector. All right, next, multiplying by a scalar. So a scalar is just like a regular number, a singular number, like 2, 1.7, uh, negative 3. These are all scalars, just regular old numbers, okay? So if we're doing 4 times u, remember u is equal to the components of 5 and 3. So if we're doing um, 4 u, what we're doing is just multiplying the whole vector times 4. So we're 4 times as large. So 5 comma 3. So we're going to, each one of the components is quadrupling in size. So I get a vector of 20 comma 3. Ooh, this is going to be really large. So let's start in the corner over here. Okay, so I'm going to start my initial point right here. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 2, 3. Okay, that is one u vector. If I want to add another u vector, you know, multiplication, repeated addition, I'm just going to add on another one from the end, 2, 3. Five, one, two, three. Okay. So end to end method. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And we can see that four U's added together um, results in a vector that is 20, 20, and up by, I see I made a mistake. By 12. Um, 4 times 3, I did like a distribution issue here, is 12. So 20 times, 20 comma 12 are the components of my new vector. All right, real example 3. So vector u is equal to negative 3i8j and w is equal to 2i minus, minus 1j, right? 2u minus 3w in component form and as a combination of linear, as a linear combination, okay? So I am I am going to first write this in component form. So Remember, the 3 is the change in x, and 8 is the change in y. Um, for the second vector, the 2 is the change in x, and the negative 1 is the change in y. So the component vector for w would be 2, comma, negative 1. Uh, the component vector for um, u is negative 3, 8. Okay, so if I want to multiply these together, I get to multiply and add, sorry, subtract. Then I get to choose if I want to do these in component form or if I want to write these in, as a linear combination. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do them, 
do the math as a linear combination. Okay, so 2u minus 3w would be 2 times negative 3i plus 8j um, minus 3 times 2i minus j. So just like normal math, we're going to distribute in the 2 because it's a scalar. So negative 6i plus 16j. So it's doubling the size of our vector in both the x direction and the y direction. Okay. Um, the second vector, I'm tripling the size and then making the direction go the other way. So this would be 6i plus 3j. Um, combined your like terms, your like vectors. So negative 12i plus 19j. Then this is equal to 2u minus 3w. Okay, so this is the linear the vector as a linear combination. Remember using our unit vectors to describe the position. Um, as a in component form, the vector would be the change in x is negative 12 and the change in y is 19. And that's it. So linear combination, component form. All right. Find the vector with magnitude of 1 and a direction um, of 45 degrees. I think that this needs to say find the component form of the vector that's one magnitude is one and the direction is 45 degrees. So y'all know what this looks like. It looks like this from the center has a magnitude of one and a theta that's equal to 45 degrees. So tell me, what are the side lengths of this vector? So what's the change in X? And what, are the what is the change in y? So 45, 45, 90 triangle and a radius of 1. We know that the side lengths are root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. They are in the first quadrant or facing towards the first quadrant. So both the x and the y are going to be positive. So in component form, this vector would be written as root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. Okay, um, lastly, let's do one more. Same idea, I think I missed a word, so write the, find the component form. Component form of a vector whose magnitude is root 2 and is in the direction of 150. So 150 degrees. Okay, so something like that. It is equal to 150 degrees. The magnitude is root 2. Okay, so filling out my reference triangle, boom, boom, that would be 30 degrees. So the side lengths would be root Two. Well, the side length, the change in x is the radius times the cosine of theta, so 150. And then change in y would be the radius times the sine of 150. So I'll just do that below. Change in y is root 2 times sine 150. And 150, sine of 150 is, I'll just put a 1 here. So across from 30 is 1 half, and then across from 60 is root 3 over 2. So I get root 
2 times 1 half, which is equal to root 2 over 2. And then the change in x is the radius or the magnitude times uh, square root 2 times the cosine of 150, which is root 2 times uh, root 3 over 2. Which I can multiply those roots together, giving me root 6 over 2. So the component form would be root 6 over 2, comma, root 2 over 2.